Let's do this, shall we? You ugly. You your daddy son, hey. You guys, the year is almost over. I don't know how this happened. Please explain to me because I would like to know how this year came and went in five seconds. Please explain. I'll wait. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. I am here to do, of course, my favorite video of the month. This month for me is actually my favorite month out of the year. Um, I love the weather, I love the clothes, I love the foods, I love how everything is just becoming more warm and cuddly. It's cuffing season, um, which isn't accurate because basketball season starts back this month. He don't go to bed on time. He be staying up late trying to watch the game and I'm just like, so firstly, my app of the month, which you guys know I do my app of the month every month, um, at least I try to do every month. For this month, my favorite app is actually an oldie but goodie. Um, if you guys are avid online shoppers like I am, I am an online shopper. It is like my trade, it's what I do. It's like literally online shopping is actually the thing that I do best. One of the things that I pride myself on is being able to find deals um, and coupons for everything. But Retail Me Not is basically an app where you are able to find coupons and deals on your favorite stores. You can find pretty much any store that you love to shop at um, if you are looking for a coupon or a deal. Not only can you get deals online, but you can get deals in stores as well and at retailers near you. Best Buy, Bed Bath & Beyond, Macy's, Ulta. There is a function where you can walk into a store and Retail Me Not will let you know if there is a coupon for that store available. So when you check out, you have a coupon in your hand. Macy's actually has like the most coupons ever. Like they always have a sale. Funny story, I went to an event um, on Wednesday and we, it was a gala. We all had to wear long dresses, right? Six women at the event, had the same dress on, guess where the dress was from? Macy's, there was a sale. On the Retail Me Not app, you can go to um, search and you can search whatever store you want and there's the barcode, they can scan your phone and give you the coupon. You can save coupons to your wallet and whenever you go shopping, you can go back to your wallet and see which coupons you have. Click on the eat section. It'll recommend food coupons for you nearby. So you can go to, let's say you wanna go to the pizza section and get some coupons for Domino's. Domino's always has great coupons. It's me and Cam's favorite. We love to get two pizzas for $5.99 um, because we're both fatties and we like to eat pizza. You just click on the coupon, get the code, and you can use it online in the Domino's app or you can use it you know, online on the website or whatever. I'm all about saving money. I'm all about helping you guys save money. So if you guys want to download Retail Me Not, I will have the link in the description box to where you can download the app. Absolutely love this app. I think everybody needs it in their app arsenal. You guys know I'm all about my apps. I have a thousand of them and they're all color coded. So I'm serious about my apps. So first I'm gonna talk about a face wash. Now I am going to be doing an updated skincare video talking about my skincare. My skincare routine has not changed the way that I wash my face. I will put that link somewhere so you guys can check that out if you wanted to. But in particular, I don't really do a whole lot of changing my routine. I change out products every now and then when I feel like it's necessary, but I don't necessarily do a whole bunch of switching up my routine. My routine stays the same, my products change, um, depending on the seasons. So as we're moving more into the fall, this weather is getting a lot cooler. So I'm having to do a lot more of heavy moisturizing, making sure my skin is hydrated from the inside out. So I'm drinking a lot of water. At the same time, I'm trying to make sure that my products aren't drying me out. I wanted to try a new face wash because the face wash that I've been using was the Mario Badescu Glycolic Acid Face Wash. You guys know I love that face wash. Um, it works well, but it is drying. So what I've been trying out recently is the Soap & Glory 3-in-1 Daily Detox Vitamin C Facial Wash. It is natural with super fruit yuzu in it. It says it's for all skin types. Um, I have oily skin personally, but I also have to be careful and cautious about how many mattifying, drying products I use on my face. It's not drying. It says on the bottle that it's not a soap. It's a high-tech foaming facial wash 
formulated com with complexion friendly, non-drying, easy rinse surfactants that will do a bang up job at washing your face. It doesn't have any harsh drying ingredients in it and that's what I really like about it. I like that it has vitamin C in it. I feel like that helps with my skin, especially because I have a lot of dark spots and things like that that I'm still getting rid of. So um, I find that the vitamin C in this is very nice. It smells nice, it's very refreshing. The little beads in it is not like harsh on the skin and it doesn't it's not abrasive this is something that i would recommend for morning and night like using like every single day the glycolic acid face wash i only use that like every other day now um moving into the fall cooler weather i am trying to ease up on that face wash and i've been liking this one a lot another soap and glory product that i got from ulta when i bought that product is the award-winning smoothie star shea oat sugar and shea breakfast scrub i wanted to try another scrub because the flake away was all sold out and i must say i've only had this for like three weeks two or three weeks and this is how much i've used i've used a lot of it um but i must say that this one has to be my favorite scrub um this is probably my favorite my favorite body scrub of all time i like this more than the flake away I like this more than the tree hut scrubs that I used to use all the time. This is the perfect mix between uh, between scrub and smoothing, like a polish, like a body polish almost. I feel like it really does make my skin smoother and softer. I love the smell of it. It's just delectable. I feel like I can eat it if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna eat it because that's probably not good for me. It clearly says on the back, this is not a food, but. I mean, it leaves me smooth like baby's bottom. Using a scrub more often is helping my dark spots on my body to fade. And it's also helping for um, prevention of ingrown hairs when I go get waxed, which is a huge deal for me. I'm not the only one who's in contact with my skin. So I like for my skin to look appealing. And this is helping a lot. I love this scrub. It smells so good. It smells like cinnamon rolls and syrup has the most perfect breakfast smell. I love it. You guys know who loves breakfast. I think he probably enjoys this just as much as I do. So I recently got a big box full of stuff from the Estee Edit, which I'm gonna talk about two things from that box that I got. Pink Peony Overnight Water Pack. It's a jelly-like type substance, but it's a face mask. My skin loves hydration. My skin drinks it up. For breakfast lunch and dinner okay i i love to hydrate my skin because i feel like it just keeps my skin smooth looking radiant you know and that's what i'm all about these days i'm less about drying up pimples and i'm more about making sure my skin is hydrated first i use this on my sunday nap days what i've noticed is when i take naps or when i go to sleep using an overnight water mask kind of helps for my skin to drink up that moisture and after doing a lot of research on why my skin breaks out in certain areas i've noticed that in the areas where they say your breakouts are due to dehydration i have a lot of those breakouts there so i try to make sure that my skin is as moisturized as possible like i said and that's a really great mask i've been trying it and i do like it. it's like putting water on your face thick water two primers that i want to talk about first one being the pore vanishing stick from the estee edit it is a just a little stick that you use in any areas where you have a lot of pores or big pores i tend to experience big pores around this area of my face so i try to do a lot of minimizing of those pores in that area so this is a really great a great smoothing stick I feel like a smoothing stick as opposed to a smoothing primer works a lot better with the stick foundations that I've been using lately. So I just glide this on my face, pat it in in those areas. It's really been helping with the smoothness, the smoothness of my skin. The appearance of my skin looks a lot better. Another primer that I've been trying that I like is the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. Now, I don't know if I like this as much as I think I do. I don't know, it's good, it's not amazing, but it's good. But I do like how it makes my skin feel. Like I said, moisturization during this time of year is crucial. So using primers that are hydrating, smoothing, um, none, not mattifying at all because my skin will dry out quickly and I'll get irritated. So um, this primer has coconut water in it and probiotic based ingredient and skin revivers. Uh, I've noticed that this kind of plumps up my skin and when I have those early mornings and I have to do a full face like at 8am or something like that, this helps to make me look less tired, less puffy, less 
drowsy, all that good stuff. I mean, it's a hangover primer, so that's what it's supposed to do. And this bad boy. This is the Too Faced Peanut Butter Jelly Palette. Now, you guys know, if you watched my Chit Chat Get Ready With Me video where I did the peanut butter jelly look, freaking adore this palette. One, because the packaging. Too Faced and Benefit, they have the best. Too Faced and Benefit definitely have the best packaging thus far. It goes along with their whole you know, food smelling makeup theme. Um, you know, they have the chocolate bar palette, the peach palette. Um, this one is peanut butter and it smells like peanut butter. It has peanut butter jelly shades in here that are just so creamy and rich. I love this palette. I never thought that buying this palette, I would actually like love it as much as I do. I bought it for packaging purposes. I literally bought this palette because it smelled like peanut butter and because it's cute. I bought the peach palette and I mean I used it maybe three or four times but I haven't used it since then. This palette I've been using every single day. Um, I love the neutral shades in here. I don't use the purples too much but I have used the purples and they're beautiful. Um, I just love this palette because it's so cute. I also love it because it's small. It was easy breezy traveling with this palette and it was $36 I think but I feel like that's worth it. Do I have to explain myself? No, I don't. I actually bought this product a long time ago, but I'm just now getting around to using it like on a regular Dagula. You know what I'm saying? This is the RCMA No Color Powder. A lot of people talk about this powder as um, a dupe for Laura Mercier. The way that it sinks into the skin, the way that it sets your face, I feel like it works just as well as Laura Mercier. Would I recommend this for really deep dark skin? I'm not sure. I haven't seen people with deep dark skin use this product so I can't say that it works well for them it works well for me haven't noticed any flashback at all like it's literally translucent you put it on your skin and it disappears it definitely does its job um, I don't like the packaging I hate sifters I hate when I have to shake the product out um, because I have to shake it onto something because I already make a huge mess when I use powder so I would prefer there would be a cap or something I could shake it into. It's also very inexpensive. I believe it's like $10, 10 or $12, I believe, online. And I'll put a link in the description box where you can find it. But I really like that powder. I feel like it works really, really well. My favorite lip color this month has been the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the color True Grit. This is the beautiful brown color that I'm wearing on my lips today. I love it because it's a nice chocolatey brown, but it has like no red undertone in it it's not too cool but it's not too warm it's the perfect chocolatey brown so i really like it i also really like these always on lipsticks i actually have a whole set of these um and this is the fav my favorite one thus far that i've used all right last but not least this is not a new favorite for makeup but it's definitely something that i've <sighs> i've been searching for it and i'm so glad that it finally released after being delayed and delayed, Cool Golden Anastasia Stick Foundation. I've done a review on this stick foundation already. I reviewed the color, I believe, Chestnut. And then I bought Amber and I used that in another video. Cool Golden, perfect shade. I used it today. I didn't have to contour or anything and it was already matching my skin. I was like, yes, it's the perfect all over shade for me. While I really, really like my Hourglass foundation stick, actually that's my favorite foundation stick, it's not my current shade and I will be darned if I go spend $46 on another one, okay? This is only 25, it's my perfect match. Um, I have to say that I'm very, very impressed with this color. I feel like I've never been able to find the perfect mix between brown and olive for my skin tone and this just works so magical. It's not too yellow, it's not too warm, it's not too orange, it's not too pink, it's just, it's me. Now I can flex my complexion. Oh my God. Can we just take a second to, moment of silence please. Can we just have a moment of silence for Vine? Thank you. Where am I gonna get my jokes now? How am I gonna be funny? Please help me. Last favorite for the month. These are the High Keys by Desi Perkins. I'm sorry, don't talk to me. Please, no flash photography, please. Heaven sent. I just wanna thank God and Jesus and Desi Perkins and Key, not Quay, for making these shades, everything, all of my life. My future's so bright now. 
that I need these shades to wear so that I don't get blinded. I, I love these shades. I also have the black high keys. Unfortunately, I left them in my husband's car, so I can't show them to you, but I love the black ones almost a little bit more than the blue ones. The blue ones are definitely beautiful, um, but the black ones are everything, everything. They are just perfect for my face. The reflectiveness, the color, the construction, they're sturdy, they speak to me on a spiritual level. I mean, I don't curse, but you know, if I did, I would say a cuss word. I will put a link in the description box to where you can find these shades if they're still available. I just ordered the black ones a week ago from Love Culture. Um, so I'm hoping that they're still there. I will put a link in the description box to where you can find them. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up so that I can do more videos like them. That's it. I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you so much and I'll see you soon.